Okay, if you're watching this video, you probably set up a Minecraft server on your computer and you can no longer access it or it's not working and um, your friends can't access it. Or maybe you can access it and your friends can't. I'm going to try and uh, go through some of the common problems that uh, a lot of people tend to have uh, shortly after trying to host their own Minecraft server. So here we go. I'm going to go over to my Windows computer and see this is the error message that we're looking at. And this is the kind of things that I'm going to address. Um, there's some other issues. You may not get this error message. You may get something different. Um, that I'll address in this video as well. So right here, failed to connect to the server. So you go back to the server list. Here's your two server, to my two that I have. I mean, you may have as many as you want, but for whatever reason, you or your friends can't connect to your server. All right. Um, so we click refresh. It says ping. It, it would already show green here if the sync, if the server was up and working. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to wherever you have your server saved, whatever that uh, file folder is, and you're going to go ahead and open that. Um, and then you're going to, I have multiple, so I'm just going to open it up. Here, here's what the inside of the file should look like. And uh, what I want you to do first is look here for these uh, Minecraft uh, underscore server, and it'll be like 1.10.1.jar or 1.9.1.jar or 1.12.1.jar or something like that. And uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to write down um, whatever version it is. And since I have two of them here, you, well, which one do I write down? Well, we're going to look for the newest one. So this one's a little older, so this is the one I want to write down, Minecraft Server jar for me. Yours might be 12.1 or something else, and that's perfectly fine. So go ahead and write that down. Um, that's going to be important. We're going to need that. Uh, at some point to troubleshoot an issue. The other thing you're going to do is you're going to go down here, you're going to server properties, and you're going to double click that uh, server properties folder right there. And when you open it up, it's going to have a server port. I want you to write that number down too, that server port uh, 25565. Yours might be different, um, but we're going to put the 25565 is what I have. So if it doesn't matter, you don't change it, just write it down. You need that. Um, and then um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your uh, web browser and you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to Google. And at Google, you're going to write, uh, what's my IP address? Google's going to come back with your IP address. You're going to go ahead and write down your IP address. We'll need this as well. Um, your IP address is something you only want to give to your friends. You don't want to give it to total strangers. Um, but uh, you'll need this. You'll need the IP address. This changes. This um, is given to you, issued to you by your uh, internet service provider. Um, so every time your modem um, resets and you have a may have a modem router all in one you may have two devices um, but periodically this number is going to change and um, it may be that you have the same IP address for months or it might change every day um, but when this changes it's going to change how you log into your server um, and then you're going to go here and you're going to type in CMD that's uh, Charlie Mike and David and um, run it as an administrator if you have permission to do that the command prompt, that's what you want to open. You're going to run that, click OK. It's going to have something up here. It doesn't matter what it says. You're just going to type in I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. And then uh, you're going to get a couple numbers off of here and write those down as well. Um, and it's very important you write these down and label them as well. So the first thing we got from the Minecraft server was the version number or the name of that, uh, that, that .jar file. The other thing that we got was the uh, port number. Um, so you got that number written down. You have your IP address from Google and then your IPv4 address, IPv4. It's going to be 192.168.1.51, something like that. Write that number down. And your default gateway, which will be a 192.168, it'll probably be .1.1. Um, so now that you have all those numbers written down, the very first thing we're going to do, this is very obvious, um, the server needs to be open. So you need to make sure that um, you have, or you you do in fact have it open. So you should have a start.bat file. If you're opening your server by clicking on one of these two things here that look like this, the little drive icon, you're doing it incorrectly. You need to have a start.bat file to open it. And um, if you don't, then you can just go back and look at one of my other videos or anybody else's videos and figure out how to go ahead and create one of those. I'm not going to address that here because you should have already had that. When you double click the start.bat file, it's going to open up something like this. This needs to be open for the server to run. Again, this is also going to have your port number number on it at the very top. Uh, mine starting Minecraft server on 255 and mine 65. Um, so that was that number that we got earlier. So you want to always make sure that that's, that's running because your server won't work without that running. So first thing we did, we make sure that's running. It's obvious. Click refresh. Nothing came up. So then we're going to go to our server that's not working. We're going to click edit. The name doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you call it. 
um, the only thing that matters is the server address. The server address, um, you may have a local host or you may just have a port number, but um, the correct way to do it, the best way to do it, is to go ahead and type in that IP address that you got off of uh, Google. So type in your IP address and then put the uh, colon here, the two dots that are the same, not the one with the bigger dot on the bottom, but the two that are the same. And then you're going to put in that port number, which is that uh, the, the server port number that we got. So 25565 in my case. Um, probably be the same in yours. So make sure that, that if that IP address changed and it's a new one, um, then that's probably your problem. Um, if you had local host or something else, go ahead and write that IP address, the colon and the port number. Go back and then click refresh. It's going to say pinging, and if it says pinging for more than a couple seconds, it didn't work. All right, so that's the first step. And maybe your server IP address changed, but um, maybe your IPv4 has changed, and we're going to go look at that now. Um, but first, we're going to go to the control panel. And you're going to open that up. When you get the control panel opened up, you can sort by large icon, small icon, category. We're going to go to the category view, and then we're going to click on system and security. And then Windows Firewall, and then up here, allow an app or feature to run through Windows Firewall. You need to open that up, and you're going to click change setting. Okay, when you go to change setting, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to look for where it says Java um, Platform SE Binary. All of these, public and private, need to be checked on both sides. If they aren't checked, go ahead and check them all on both sides for the Java Platform SE SE binary and then click OK. And you're going to close this out. Then you're going to go back and if yours weren't checked, you'll come back and you'll hit the refresh button again. Pinging, pinging, it's not turning green, it's not working. Okay, so then we're going to go to the next thing. You're going to open up that web browser again. You're going to go to 192. You're going to type in whatever your um, your default gateway was. The uh, 192.168, probably 1.1 in your case. Um, but whatever yours was, go ahead and type it in. Type in your admin um, or your, your username and password. The uh, username should be admin, A-D-M-I-N, and then the password should be admin, or the word password. Or if you changed it or know what it is, go ahead and type it, whatever it is. Um, once you get logged into your router, it won't necessarily look like mine. Let's see if I can remember my password. Um, they all look a little different. Um, so under mine, it's going to be under the security tab and then apps and gaming, and then single port forwarding. Um, you're just looking for single port forwarding. You should have set this up originally when you set your server up. Again, this is a tutorial to go back and fix why a server may have stopped. Um, but you're going to find single port forwarding in your router. Click around until you find it. And you want to either set up a new rule, or if you already have a rule, which you should, you're just going to go in there and edit it. It doesn't matter what the rule is called. Um, you may call it Minecraft. Maybe your router doesn't even allow you to name it. The only important thing is that the port number is correct. So when you went up there to the server port, you wrote that port number down, the 25565 in my case. You want the internal and external ports to both be the same. When you get over here to the device IP address, this is going to be your IPv4 address. This also changes. So just like your internet provider changes your IP address, your IPv4 address is something that your modem or router um, will be issuing your computer, and that may change. At the end of the video, I'm going to uh, give you, uh, actually down in the comments, I'll link another video to show how you can make this permanent and this not change. It's a whole other thing, another topic, but, um, but for now, this is just going to get your server up and running. Um, so if this changed, your mind did change, actually, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change it. So to whatever the correct one was, that's that IPv4 address that you wrote down that you got down early in the video. So once you get that changed, um, if you're in a Linksys router, you're going to click Save. And that didn't save it. It looks like it saved it. I mean, it's correct and everything, but you got to click Apply for it to actually save. Um, once you get that all done, go ahead and close it. Then we're going to go back here. We're going to hit Refresh again. We're going to see if that fixed it. And in my case, it's pinging. In my, in my case, it did fix it. Okay, um, that's great. So if you got to this point and fixed it again down in the comments, I'll explain how we can stop that from changing in the future. But your server should be up and running. Just give your uh, friends the IP address, the colon, and the port number, and they should be able to log in. Again, they can they can go in, they can call it whatever they want. Server name doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the address. Um, mine's blurred out just so that you guys don't log into my server. <laughs> um, Let's go down and check one more setting. If it's still not working, you're going to go in and you're going to type Fire, actually my Windows, Firewall, and Advanced Security. This is what you want to do. You want to go ahead and find Windows, Firewall, and Advanced Security. You're going to open that, run it as administrator. If you can, if you can't, that's fine, if it'll work. Um, you're going to go to Inbound Rules, Inbound Rules, click New Rule, and you're going to click on Port. You're going to type in whatever your port number was. It's going to be at 25565 in my case, and we're going to click Next, Next, Next. And you're going to type in mine. Craft TCP Tango Charlie Papa. It doesn't matter what you name it. That's what I recommend you name it. And you're going to click finish. You click action, new rule. We're going to do it again. The whole thing we're going to do again. Port. 
and you're going to go ahead and you're going to type in UDP this time, and it's going to be uh, the same port number, 255, in my case 65, and you're going to make sure UDP is checked. You're going to go next, 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 and you're going to call it Minecraft, call it whatever you want, I call it Minecraft UDP, and then you're going to click finish. And you're going to close this out, and then you're going to go back over, and if yours isn't working, you're going to refresh it again and see if it works. Hopefully that'll fix it. If that doesn't fix it, we're going to go to one last step that it may be. Um, and that is we're going to make sure we're running the correct version of Minecraft. In my case, it's 1.11.12, and that also matched the uh, original version that we wrote down when we went in here to the servers. Um, if yours is not running the correct version of Minecraft, and I can go ahead and show you how to change that. I can't do it on my Windows computer, but I can do it over here on my Mac computer. Again, it doesn't matter because we're doing it here. You'll have the, the option of the different ones right here. When you go to play Minecraft, it'll give you options. If it doesn't give you options, that's fine. You just go to the Launch Options here. And um, when you click on Launch Options, you click Add New and select the appropriate one for your server. Again, your friends will have to do this, and they need to pick the correct version for whatever server you're hosting. Once you select that, you save it, and it's going to be right over here in their options. All right, so just make sure you're running the right one for the game. You'll click Play. Once you get into the game, it's um, it's going to show just the servers that work with that particular, uh, or just the uh, servers that work with that particular version. Um, I hope that that helped at least somebody. If it helped anybody, go ahead and click like. Let me know in the comments if it helped you. Anything you can do um, to let me know that I'm actually helping people, that'd be great. I'm just trying to, for me, it gets frustrating. You go in here and you find all kinds of different stuff. But um, I wanted to address as many things as I possibly could. And... Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments or it's still not working, let me know. Kind of describe what your issue is, and I'll see if I make a video to adjust that. Again, down in the comments, I'm going to have a video on how to. I'm going to have another video on how to stop your IPv4 IPv4 from changing, and also a way around your actual IP address from changing, so that you don't have to constantly tell your friends your new IP address. Um, there are other ways, better ways, um, but this right here should just get everything up and running. And uh, I hope you like the video.